Good morning students. Today we will learn history chapter number 9 last phase of struggle for independence. Students in the previous part of the chapter we have studied about the beginning of people's movement the underground movement and the establishment of parallel government and also we have learned about the importance of quit india movement today we will learn with the remaining topics we will begin with the topic of indian national army or the azad hind sena students our national leader netaji subhash chandra bose had took phenomenal efforts for gaining independence of india subhash chandra bose was the leader of the azad hind sena on the eastern borders of india thousands of indians stood in readiness to fight against the british all these thousand soldiers belonged to the azad hind sena and fought under the leadership of Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose Apart from leading the army Subhash Chandra Bose was also an important leader of the Indian National Congress He graced the position of the president of Congress twice It was the opinion of Subhash Chandra Bose that while England was busy or engaged in fighting the second world war indians should take good advantage of it and make a movement of freedom more intense and stronger netaji subhash chandra bose also said that if it is necessary then india should seek the help of the enemy countries of england but There arose a differences of opinion between Subhash Chandra Bose and some other senior leaders of Indian National Congress. Due to this difference in opinions and thinking, Subhash Chandra Bose resigned from the position of President of Congress. Later on, to place his views in front of the people, he founded his own party. which was known as forward block subhash chandra bose appealed to the indians through his speeches to revolt against the british rule due to these speeches of of inspiration the british government imprisoned netaji but subhash chandra bose went on fast up to death in the prison it means netaji subhash chandra bose had declared that he will do complete fasting that is he will not eat anything till death and he will die in the prison but he will not eat anything as netaji subhash chandra bose went on fast the british government had to shift him to his own residence and he was kept as house arrest in short he was free from the jail and kept in his house with full pro- police who kept a complete watch over him even after such restrictions and complete watch over him he had escaped from his residence in disguise as soon as netaji subhash chandra bose escaped from his house in april 1941 he reached germany in germany netaji had founded the free india center from the berlin radio center which is in germany Subhash Chandra Bose appealed to the Indian people to join in the armed struggle against the British rulers. During this period, Raj Bihari Bose invited 
सुभाष चंद्र बोस टू विजिट टू जपान स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट अस स्टडी अबाउट हाउ द इंडियन नेशनल आर्मी वॉज फॉर्म्ड दैट इज फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इंडियन नेशनल आर्मी सिंस द इयर नाइनटीन फिफ्टीन राज बिहारी बोस वॉज स्टेइंग इन जपान इन द इयर नाइनटीन फोर्टी वन राज बिहारी बोस हैड इन्वाइटेड नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस टू जपान वाइल स्टेइंग देर इन जपान राज बिहारी बोस हैड ऑर्गनाइज द इंडियन पोट्रोइट्स हु वर लिविंग इन द कंट्रीज ऑफ साउथ ईस्ट एशिया एंड हैड ऑर्गनाइज अ न्यू ऑर्गनाइजेशन विच वॉज नेम्ड एज द इंडियन इंडिपेंडेंस लीग इन द अर्ली पार्ट ऑफ द इयर नाइनटीन फोर्टी टू जपान हैड कॉन्कर्ड सम टेरिटरीज इन साउथ ईस्ट एशिया विच वर कंट्रोल्ड बाय द ब्रिटिश रूलर्स बिकॉज ऑफ दिस थाउजेंड्स ऑफ इंडियन सोल्जर्स एंड ऑफिसर्स हु वर इन द ब्रिटिश आर्मी देर फेल इन टू द हैंड्स ऑफ जपान राज बिहारी बोस अलॉन्ग विद द हेल्प ऑफ कैप्टन मोहन सिंह हैड फॉर्म्ड अ बैलेटिन ऑफ ऑल दिस इंडियन प्रिजनर्स ऑफ वॉर दिस बैलेटिन वॉज नेम्ड एज द इंडियन नेशनल आर्मी और द आजाद हिंद सेना लेटर ऑन नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस बिकेम द लीडर एंड लेड द इंडियन नेशनल आर्मी इन द मंथ ऑफ ऑक्टोबर इन नाइनटीन फोर्टी थ्री नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस हैड इस्टैब्लिश द आजाद हिंद गवर्नमेंट इन द कंट्री ऑफ सिंगापुर दिस गवर्नमेंट वॉज इस्टैब्लिश विद द हेल्प ऑफ सम चीफ एसोसिएट्स ऑफ नेताजी दिस चीफ एसोसिएट्स वर शाह नवाज खान जगन्नाथ भोसले डॉक्टर लक्ष्मी स्वामीनाथन गुरुबक्ष सिंह धिलोन प्रेम कुमार सैगल एट्सेट्रा अमंग ऑल दिस चीफ एसोसिएट्स कैप्टन लक्ष्मी स्वामीनाथन वॉज द कमांडर ऑफ द रानी ऑफ झांसी रेजिमेंट इन ऑर्डर टू इंस्पायर पीपल टू फाइट फॉर द फ्रीडम ऑफ इंडिया एंड जॉइन द इंडियन नेशनल आर्मी नेताजी सुभाष चंद्र बोस अपील्ड टू द इंडियन पीपल ही यूज द अपीलिंग वर्ड्स ऑफ You give me blood and I shall give you freedom. Students, these words of Netaji Subhas Chandra Bose proved out to be a great source of inspiration which inspired people to fight for the country even without worrying for their life. Now, let us study about some of the important achievements of the indian national army led by netaji subhas chandra bose in the month of november in 1943 japan had conquered the indian islands of anandaman and nicobar and handed them over to the azad hind government thus these islands were now free from the rule of the british rulers After getting the administration of Andaman and Nicobar Islands, Netaji Subhas Chandra Bose renamed these islands as Shahid and Swarajya, respectively. Thus, Andaman was renamed as Shahid, and Nicobar Islands were named as Swarajya. In the very next year, that is in 1944, the Indian National Army. captured the akran provisions in the country of mymar also some of the post on the eastern border of assam were also captured during this same period suddenly japan had stopped helping the indian national army 
and hence the campaign of impal remained incomplete even without the help of japan the indian national army soldiers were completely dedicated and were fighting in such adverse circumstances but in the same period japan had accepted defeat also netaji subhash chandra bose had died in a plane accident on 18th of august in 1945 on this background the soldiers of the indian national army had to lay down their arms and thus the thrilling or the most important phase of the indian national army came to an end the major two reasons behind the end of the indian national army was first the defeat of japan and second the sudden death of their leader netaji subhash chandra bose students as soon as the death of netaji subhash chandra bose was announced the british government charged some of the important officers of the indian national army with treason some of the expert lawyers including pandit jawaharlal nehru bhalu bhai desai tej bahadur sapre had defended these officers in the court but the military tribunal held all these officers guilty and they were sentenced to life imprisonment it means they were given the punishment of staying in the jail or behind the prison throughout their life due to this punishment given by the british government there was severe unrest in the minds of indian people against the british government and its rulers due to the growing unrest finally the british government had to suspend its punishment which were given to the officers by the military tribunal and all these officers were later on led free students after the revolt of the indian national army later on the indian navy and the indian air force also continued a revolt against the british rulers now let us study about the revolt of indian navy and air force students navy are the soldiers who protects the water boundaries of our country and air force soldiers are the soldiers which protect our country's air space taking the inspiration from the indian national army the navy and the air force soldiers also joined the war against the british government there was growing discontent and anger among all the soldiers against the british government this discontent burst out on the british warship named talwar in mumbai on 18th of february 1946 on this day the soldiers of the indian navy unfurled the indian tricolor flag on this british warship also the slogans against the british government were raised in order to stop or to crush this revolt the british government sent its army with the order to open fire on all the naval soldiers in counter of the open firing by the army the rebels that is the indian naval officers also made counter attack with their firing the workers and the common people also extended their support 
to the naval soldiers does there was the british army on one side and against them were the naval soldiers the workers and the common people finally in order to stop this bloodshed sardar vallabh bhai patel was called for mediation or to control the situation due to the mediation of sardar vallabh bhai patel the naval soldiers laid down their arms and the situation came under control in order to support this uprising of the naval soldiers the air force officers from delhi lahore karachi ambala meerut etc went on strike all these revolts were a clear indication to the british government that the sentiments of discontent and anger against this british rulers had reached the climax in this way the period between 1942 to 1946 completely shook the foundation of british power in india there was severe discontent in the minds of indian people against the british through the quit india movement this discontent was expressed by the common people the army navy and the air force was the backbone of the indian power but now all these three forces were opposing the british rulers due to all these incidences the british rulers finally realized that now they will not be able to empower or rule india for a longer period of time so students in this chapter we have studied about the last phase or the last struggle before india got independence in the next chapter we will study about the armed revolutionary movement against the british rulers thank you